today we're going to be doing shockwave to the foot as you can see here we're using the 15 millimeter shockwave head obviously putting the rubber coating back on helps to protect the head keep the heat off the foot we need to make the settings we're going to go for 90 millijoules I'm going to go for 2,000 shocks, a fairly standard number, and we're going to go at uh, 12 hertz in this case. The foot can be quite sensitive, so going up to 12 hertz can be quite a good idea. If you were to go down much, the pain would likely be much worse. If you were to go up much, uh, obviously the pain would be less, but you would get much faster cavitation. As per normal, we move around the shockwave head until we find areas where the tone changes. When the tone becomes deeper and more resonant, we stop temporarily on that uh, area for probably two to 400 shocks and then move around. The moving around is massage version onto the foot and the staying still is what some people would call the trigger point version of the foot or if you like the trigger point and myofascial methods the myofascial method the moving method as you can see here we move around just pick up a bit of gel find the resonant area it's not too difficult in between the two metatarsals in this case and we're trying for the bursa to see if we can reduce the bursa this patient had significant symptoms in his foot He's a strong man and developed foot symptoms from doing a 400 kilo super yoke carry, which is a carry and almost jog, which may seem unfathomable to most people, but not to strong men. He's irritated with the bursa in between his metatarsals here, and we're just trying to address that bursa. In the past, people have tried to burst the bursas and have injected them to burst them. Uh, that hasn't been effective in this case. Uh, we've also tried laser therapy to reduce the bursa. That hasn't been particularly effective. And of course, we've tried podiatry and orthotics. And so far, that hasn't got rid of the problem. Actually, the last set of treatment done on this patient was to hold the problem at bay whilst he competed in a strongman competition which actually came second and we're now trying to address the problem because obviously we wouldn't want to shockwave the area and then send him out doing these heavy carries as you're not supposed to do heavy impact loading activity really after shockwave particularly in the lower limb and as you can see we keep coming back to the same spot it's this one spot where the problem is it's this one spot where the bursa is but doing the massage around at the same time we've got 2,000 shocks so we've got plenty of time to do the trigger points the point of most pain in this case the manufacturer would recommend about 600 shocks onto this area we might actually do a few more onto this one spot angling a little bit as we go along <laughs> 